Hello, welcome back. Episode 14 of my Minecraft series. Dadding my way through Minecraft. I'm I, Chris. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, I've done a little bit of rearranging chests. Double chest is no longer there. Just a single chest beside my bed. You know, for something to, something to read. Put my book. Drink of water before bed. Yee. Jungle wood mixing with regular wood. Whatever. It's my first house. Cut me some slack. Uh... Thought I had something cooking. Anyway. So that's going on there. I also over here you can see I finished out my chest room, room of chess. And uh I've sort of semi labeled until I get like a lots of stuff, it obviously doesn't really make sense to have one chest for, you know, thirteen coal <laughs> fifteen stone, but you know, we'll fill it out. So this is kinda like miscellaneous things we'll get to figuring out how to use these things later on uh, this is random building supplies stuff that's ready to go or sorry stuff that's like raw supplies things that i've built glass corner signs and wood related items so maybe i should bring this down here you get the idea flowers and poppies and related wool that kind of stuff and then foodie kind of stuff we'll call it i've had to uh i've killed some cows so i've just got one adult and two baby cows left in order to get a little bit of leather and some steak to stock up on and uh yeah i got some sheep still had a baby sheep the other day expanded the wheat wheat field a bit. Ah, oh, I'm a terrible judge of finished wheat. <laughs> As I often lament. And, yeah, chop trees down. Oh, this tree grew fast. Putting it next to the water, I guess, helps, hey? Everyone else who's played this before, lots is like, well, duh, of course. So, what I wanted to quickly do is, uh, I was thinking of doing some caving, but I also don't have any armor on me at all. And, uh, well, you can make armor out of things such as leather. You can make it out of iron, out of gold, and out of diamonds. Of those, I only have leather at this point. Enough, anyways. I just have one iron at this point. So, And uh, all I have, we'll start with the bottom. So, as you can see on my guy, I've got spots for uh, helmets, a chest plates, some leggings, and boots. But uh, I only have enough stuff to make boots for right now. Four pieces of leather. So I stick one oops, on then each spot. And there you go. I got some boots. Pop them on. There you go. Looking fancy. Feeling free. Check out those leather boots. Not going to win any fashion awards, that's for sure. But it's some protection. It's more than I have right now. So, um, as you can see, it gives me half an armor plate of protection, which, again, not ideal, but better than nothing. Lesser men have gone and women have gone into battle. Or less equipped men and women have gone into battle, I guess I'll say, in Minecraft. So, what I would like to do, hold down the shift key here, is maybe just do a little bit of exploring down this mine shaft here. I don't feel completely adequately prepared for said journey, but let's just do it and see what happens. All right. I like to have a escape route, if possible. So uh, I'm going to stick some dirt in my... I don't need the hoe here. I won't be needing the axe, like, likely. Probably won't be needing the shovel for very long here as we get down below. 
deeper into the depths. So kind of make yourself a little uh, step. Oh. Hold down the shift key, of course. Whoop. That's not where I wanted it. Goodbye. Make yourself a little ladder. Get yourself down. I could be digging into the wall and sort of making a ladder that way, but uh, ah, cool. Let's dig around to get that coal, shall we? Make a little landing here. Go down one. Jump across. And do a little excavation here. So things to keep in mind that you would want when you're going to go caving, exploring, is uh, food, for one, and torches. And uh, as you can see, I've got made myself a whole bunch of torches. That's why I'm kind of keen on grabbing some more coal here, because I have used up most of my coal. But so I can slap a torch down, and I'll be able to see. Wow, quite the vein of coal here. some dirt. Wow. I don't think I'll be needing coal for a long, long time. It also helps to throw torches along your path, uh, as we talked about, I think, previous episodes, to find your way back to where you were. Uh, but uh, if nothing else, too, if you're sort of lose track of the, whether it's daytime, nighttime, that kind of thing, um, you know, you don't want a monster spawning right behind you in a, in a place that you th sort of previously thought was maybe free. Um, you know what? I'm just going to keep my method of getting all the way up to the top here intact. And just so I don't lose my way too badly here. All right. Hop down there. Where are we going here? Right there. All right, so here we are. Daylight up there, darkness down below. Let's go. As I mentioned previously too, throwing torches on the right will sort of help you find your way back. Because obviously as they're, if they're always on the right as you're moseying along here, ooh, iron, then you will be able to follow them on your left on the way back. So what I'm going to do is just, oops, that's not where I want it. Here, let's just hack this guy down. Throw a couple torches up here as sort of a main artery point so I don't get too surprised by anybody. One thing you can do, too, is, uh, let's say I'm a little concerned about something maybe coming down this passageway here, is just throw some blocks down. That way I don't have to sort of keep tabs on everything, any, any every single route that's around me. And knowing that it's dirt, uh, in this case, um, helps me know that I'm the one who put it there and likely... I'll just, I can just dig it out, right? Let's get some iron. This will help with uh, making some better armor than what we have. I hear the mice. Grab 
this coal. Oops. Oh. I hear a skeleton somewhere. As you can see, you can reach quite a ways up. Um, I might want to leave myself a little method of getting up there to get more coal, but uh, for now, I think I'll leave it at that. I've got 58 coal, but it looks like there's probably more up there. Yeah, unless I start digging or building my way up. So, uh, iron, where were we? No more iron here. Ah, it's got to be nighttime. I'm just going to light up this exit here. So that's, uh, again, so I can know where I'm going, but also, uh, know that no monsters are going to spawn here and surprise me as I if I need to make an escape. Should have done this on the way down, obviously, but that's why I'm the new guy doing this. All right. Good enough. Back down we go. Let's grab some more coal while we're here. Just working in the coal mine. So, of course, as we're doing this, uh, I'd love to hear any comments, feedbacks, feedbacks, <laughs> feedback, questions, all that kind of stuff um, about the game, about what I'm doing, what I'm not doing. There's plenty of Minecraft video tutorials and that kind of stuff on the web. Certainly not lacking in that. I just hope you find what I'm doing interesting. Enough to stick around. See how this gravel falls down. Chop that off. Yeah, nothing else back here. All right. Keep on moving. Which way? Up, down, left, or right? Uh, I sometimes like to sort of chop things up a bit to give yourself clear lines of sight back to where you may have came from. Um, just so that later on, if again, hopefully you're not going to get lost, but in the event that you're having to make a quick getaway from something, or, well, something, won't really be someone... Ooh, more iron. That's what I like to see. Because what we're doing down here is, besides just, you know, creeping ourselves out with wandering into the darkness. Whoa. That could be a, some more interesting stuff. What we're trying to do here is uh, certain resources are only available deeper in the game. And so the only way to get them is of course to go down. So things like diamonds, uh, 
iron ore, obviously, here. Coal. All those things are found in greater quantity as you go deeper into the game. Deeper into the... Down. <laughs> All right. Again, wanting to make sure. I don't like the sounds of that. Yeah, there we go. Getting attacked. So I got <laughs> arrow in the back. Not sure how much I really want to die down here. Well, I definitely don't want to die. Um... But there's also going to be so much exciting stuff to see down here. There's the rub. Let's see if I can't uh, make myself a little safe passageway down. Also an escape route up. Because of course, if you drop what you're carrying, man, see that iron's just there tempting me. I don't want to use to just throw away all my... Oh, there we go. Skeleton. You know what? Let's chop in here. See if we can't get down. Oops. Get down a little easier without uh, revealing ourselves to L Skeleton there. Mr. Skeleton. There. Ooh. Lots of fun stuff down here. Oops. Wrong button. Not really interested in throwing my torches away. So again, big wide open area, kind of freaky. Huge cavern down here. Yikes. Enderman. That sound that's the sound you hear there's uh I don't want him to see me. Those are Endermen. I have never really encountered them other than being killed by them. And uh Ooh, there's light down there. Ah and lava. So, um, yeah, the Endermen basically are uh, kind of freaky, floaty, teleporting magic guys. This is where I start getting lost, because they start freaking out. And uh, as I understand it, if you look at them, then they will unleash <laughs> instant death on you, and they can teleport around and... All sorts of fun stuff. And throw things at you. They were nice enough to uh, kill my son in the game we were playing on the Xbox. One of them. It's the first time we saw them. And uh, obviously we didn't really know, totally know what we were doing. And I'm just going to throw a D6 
these things in here so I don't die. Of course, we're looking at it thinking, great, cool, what's that? And uh, needless to say, the Enderman killed us, and we lost a whole bunch of stuff that we were carrying around. Oh, there's a spider. I wonder if he can jump. He can jump. There was a spider. Anyways, looks like a fairly big cavern down here. The one thing I don't want to do is get too greedy <laughs> and all of a sudden end up falling or being killed and uh, losing all the stuff that I've just, jeez, grabbed. So, since we're approaching 20 minutes here on this episode, what I think I will do is uh, make my escape, as it were, for now. But having explored, come on, <laughs> really? Am I carrying that much that I've gained weight? Oh, more. Good thing I took a second look. But yeah, I don't want to lose this. Um, Spy skeleton somewhere. Sometimes you hear the thing, hear them through the walls. That means you might like, you know, bust through to a, a new area. Or they could be one falling behind you. <laughs> and so then skeletons cannot shoot uh, down below like that. Like they wouldn't be able to hit me, but I could see him if uh, all of a sudden he came up behind me there. Oh, just in time. So I've still got a stone pickaxe. Just make sure there's no other iron ore around here. Nothing. Okay. Get our sword at the ready. Follow the torches on the left. Back out. That was the little... Ah, daylight. All is well with the world. Let's chime down on its mistake. Take stock of what we collected. Oops. Whew. Never really feel safe until I'm back in the home. All right, so we got a whole bunch of iron ore. We can melt that down into iron ingots. We've got uh, a whole bunch more cobblestone, which we'll throw in some string from that spider. All right, well, let's get this iron ore cooking. I'll just stick a bunch of coal in there. I think we'll leave the cobblestone as it is. Um, I always open my doors with a steak. How about you? Throw the cobblestone in there. Throw the coal in there. Let's just keep some tools in here too. Just It's good to have a backup, like one backup. You don't need... 10 backups like I sort of have. Uh, axe. Alright. I like to have more dirt on here than that. Throw a string in there. Can almost make a bow now, which we'll cover eventually. All right. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to make some armor, but I'm gonna just going to skip ahead to when this is all uh, smelted, melted. <laughs> 
so that uh, the video doesn't go on too long. Or I might keep the recording if I figure out something interesting to do here in the meantime. Um, that's kind of dangerous. You know what? I'm gonna cover that up. These are all kind of things just to prevent myself from hurting myself. <laughs> Obviously, nobody else is going to have an issue. I'll just chop some wood. See how it's handy to have uh, keep you know replanting and uh, f reforestation, <laughs> just so that uh, it's easy enough to get quick access to more and more wood as you need. Apparently planting a tree, saplings, next to... So leaves, uh, as you kill a tree, and or chop down the leaves here, chop through it, they'll uh, drop little saplings that you can use to replant. If that isn't already obvious. Kind of want a little uh, area here that's on level with the water. How's the cows doing? Fully grown? Good. Let's just quickly grab a bit of wheat. Uh, this one? Two wheat. Perfect. Get some more cows growing. Love mode. Make a baby. Okay, let's go see here. Turn this into planks so I have enough for doing what or have them already. Perfect. So now, um, let's see. What do I want to make with this? I, uh, torn between tools and armor, but I think I should at least have some armor. Um, if I do, uh, let's see here, like that, so a, sort of an upside down U gives you an iron, a helmet. So again, whether it's leather, iron, gold, or diamonds, shape is the same. So that's a, a helmet. If I go like this, that'll give me a chest plate. And what's the last one I'm missing? Oh, leggings. Uh, take this guy back. And there's your leggings. So let's, uh, let's do that. And uh, might as well do the chest plate as well. 
got enough here. And uh, so what do I got here? Chest plate, leggings, oh yeah, helmet. Dun, dun, dun. And I still got enough left. Perfect, looking good. Uh, I still got enough left. As it's getting dark here, let's close that to make some more tools. So definitely an ax, so I'll need some sticks. And there's my axe and another pickaxe. Dun dun, two sticks. Whoops. Oh, I don't need these two there. There we go. Sword's doing okay. That shovel is hurting, but uh, well, let's just make a shovel since we're here. That's one of the easier ones to make. Actually, my hoe is also about to die, so let's do that too. There. All equipped up, armored up. Oh, boots. Shoot. I should have made some leather boots when I had the iron. That was not smart. Oh well. We can always go back and do some more exploring, right? All of a sudden now, I'm not so worried about who's coming to visit. Oof. He's got bad breath. All uh, right. Anything else I need to do? Yes, yes, I know. Ooh. Lots of shovels. Should make a run for it. Where are you? Certainly sounded like he was close by. Oh, there he is. Uh, Hello. Are you confused? Oh, creeper. Creeper, creeper. Don't kill my wine. Wheat. Here, that was close. That's one way to do a little bit of harvesting of supplies. <laughs> Insta dirt. All right, I'm not going to stay with for very long because chances are, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them coming along. Okay. <laughs> Enough fun and games for the night, I think. I'm going to have to re do something in this hole here. Could be uh, an opportunity to stick a little, sh put some sheep in the hole. Now I've got a surplus of torches. I think I'll light this up a bit. The 
bad guys won't really go after your animals, I don't think. Uh, not in my experience, anyways. But, uh... It's just kind of annoying to have to deal with a... You know, a creeper stuck in your... Cattle pen or whatever. So... All right, how are we doing for the light? Light. Stick one more over here. I guess that's it. All right, well, I'm going to head to bed. You should do the same, unless it's you know, not bedtime, wherever you are. And uh, I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Of course, I'd love a thumbs up if you would like to give me one down below there. Leave me comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, all those types of things. Like I was saying, I keep hitting the wrong buttons on my Mac. I'd love to hear any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, thoughts, ideas. Man, my eyes look kind of creepy now. though. Uh, if you'd have them for me. No looking up the pants. And... Uh, I'll be back again next time. Feel free to subscribe as you hopefully know how to do already on the button on the screen. And uh, I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.